What's good, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel, Lovely Soul Empress. Today, I'm going to be doing Aries uh, love reading for the uh, time period of July 15th to the 31st. Uh, if you want a private reading, my information will be in the description box. If you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, I do tarot readings over there, daily energy, weekly as well. Uh, you'll find me at Lovely Soul Empress. Um, and I'm running a contest from now to the end of the month. If uh, you'd like to enter, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment to any one of my videos. You'll be automatically entered. The winner will receive a, a free Celtic spread reading with a question of uh, their choosing. I will comment under the winner on August 1st and they uh, have 48 hours to contact me back or I'll move on to the next person. As I said, this reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as for the Cross Watcher, if you're dealing with Aries or someone with that important placement. I have already prayed, shuffled, meditated, and smudged the decks with Palo Santo. Um, and then we're gonna clear the energy. Now I'm doing Aries first because um, Aries and Aquarius tied for first place this week. So you guys are up first, okay? So um, we're gonna jump right in and clear the energy. And then uh, if you'd like to clear your energy as well, just close your eyes and take a deep breath and we will begin. Thank you, Spirit. So while I was doing the shuffling and meditating, uh, you got the Wheel of Fortune um, with the Four of Wands, which means that good fortune is coming to you in your home. Um, I also saw the Two of Swords, so you may be uh, right now trying to make a decision about something. Um, so let's see if it comes up in the reading. Okay, uh, if you've watched me before, you know I like to take jumpers. So if you want to fast forward to all the cards are out, that's cool. Spirit, can you show me what you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Most important love messages they need to know right now, Spirit. For their highest good, from July 15th to the 31st, Spirit. Aries, for their highest good, Spirit most important messages they need to know right now. July 15th to the 31st, Spirit. Three more, Spirit. One more, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands. And the Magician came out. That was the other card that came out. Okay. So, <clears throat> Aries, you have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Cups. At the heart of the matter, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Your partner has the Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. The overall energy is the Three of Wands. We're going to jump right in and start clarifying. Spirit, why does Aries have the Ten of Wands, Spirit? So that was a burdensome situation. Um, you may still be in this situation. Now this page of cups is talking about a love offer or a message of love. There's also a fish in this cup, so it could be coming with a gift or news of a pregnancy. Now um, this 10 of pentacles is clarifying this page of cups. So even though you might feel like the situation is burdensome, um, there's going to be some truth and clarity because the Ten of Pentacles is talking about building generational wealth, community, um, 
and you know um stability longevity in a in a like a commitment or even working with someone so i don't want to put it straight into a love situation just yet but i feel like something's going to be offered to you and it's going to change the situation with those ten of pentacles from a burden situation to something positive and it's going to be because of a truth that comes forward and then that's being clarified by the Hierophant. So this is Taurus, okay? Now the Hierophant is a, a leader of a religious organization, a head of an organization, uh, somebody with authority, very spiritual, um, and a lot of wisdom, right? And then that's being clarified by you, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sag, okay? So I feel like you're in a burdensome situation, but that's about to turn around because of an offer, okay? And it may be a Taurus that's bringing you this offer or someone in that energy, or maybe another Aries, Leo, Sag. Spirit, why is the Queen of Swords here for Aries? Why is the Queen of Swords here for Aries? Too, too many, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Aries? So um, the Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay? Um, and that's being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Swords, she is uh, she has a sharp wit, wit, a sharp tongue, and a sharp sword. She will use all three. She knows the truth already. She'll let you clarify, but if she doesn't like what she hears, she will cut you with her sword. Now, um, maybe you're in this energy because of the Two of Pentacles. You felt like um, somebody was juggling. It could have been two situations, uh, people or ideas. Or this could be you in this energy. But I feel like somebody was doing this. And this is why there was a Ten of uh, Wands talking about wanting to set down the burden. Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here? I mean, the Queen of Swords here with the Two of Pentacles for Aries. Why is the queen... Okay. Okay, so here you have the queen of pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Sagittarius. Okay, this is a queen who has a lot of wisdom. She's very good with money. She's nurturing. She's often a mother. This could be your mother. Okay, and then that's being clarified by the magician which I told you I saw in the pre-shuffle. And that has to do with, uh, that could be a Gemini, okay? But this person is manifesting something in secret with this moon energy, Cancer energy, Cancer Pisces energy, okay? So I feel like something with this Ace of Swords that was up here was brought to your attention and you're realizing you have to cut something away. It may be this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Because something is shifty about that magician energy with the moon. Okay? Let's continue. Four Cups, Spirit. Why does Aries have the Four Cups? Why does Aries have the Four Cups? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why does Aries have the Four Cups, Spirit? Why does Aries have the Four Cups? So the Four Cups talks about a love offer, um, not wanting to be accepted, uh, afraid of accepting or making a love offer or losing interest in a love offer. And this is because of the Seven of Pentacles. So you might have been feeling like you were giving to a situation and you weren't receiving your return on your investment. And that's being clarified by the Five of Wands because there was some type of competition in this. And I'm picking up this uh, juggling energy. So what I'm feeling is you might have been dealing with somebody who had a ex spouse. They could have legitly been married or they were together for a long time. This person, whether it be male or female, but I'm picking up heavy ex-wife energy, she is the magician here. Okay? And she's uh trying to interfere or he is trying to interfere in this uh, love offer 
this Ten of Pentacles that you're trying to build with your partner, Spirit. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter for Aries, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter for Aries, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here at the heart of the matter for my Aries gangs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Spirit. So up here, you had the Ten of Pentacles, and then it's again here at the heart of the matter. So the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, is talking about community, building generational wealth, uh, abundance, um, and that's being clarified by judgment. So some type of judgment was made in regards to this. If this person is just coming out of a marriage or a legal separation, this could be talking about that actual uh, judgment. Okay, and this high priestess, this is a uh, Gemini, um, and I get it for Taurus too. Now, this high priestess, she um, she's intuitive and she doesn't say everything she knows. Okay, so this person, this ex, might have already known about you. Maybe this started um, at the tail end of the ending of that other relationship, like when they were already in separation. Eight of Wands, there was passionate messages going back and forth between you and your partner because Ace of Cups, true love. And the Nine of Wands, you guys are trying to stand strong in this union. Um, but there is this uh, magician moon energy with this high priestess that's trying to interfere. Spirit, why is the emperor here for Aries person, spirit? Why is the emperor here for Aries person, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? So the emperor is you, Aries. Now the emperor is also, um, I also get it for Taurus, and you did have the Hierophant here. So I'm going to explain what I see here. This emperor, first off, is a boss, a CEO, an independent contractor, someone with authority. Often this person is married, and often um, this is like someone who can be controlling, but they're very good with business and money, okay? So, like I said, this person could see you like that because you are the emperor, or you could be dealing with a Taurus or Aries or someone in that energy, okay? And they're showing up here, right? And then here's the two of wands. So, some type of decision to collaborate. So, this is that they could be deciding that they want to collaborate with you. Spirit, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? for my Aries uh, partner. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aries partner spirit? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aries partner? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Like I said, the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, in the past, um, like I said, you felt like there wasn't an equal give and take. Um... And this is, you know, you were looking at your investment and if you got your return on your investment, but you felt there was a lot of conflict. Well, this person that you're dealing with, they also were looking at, you know, what was put in and what was received. And because of that, the wheel is turning in your direction. Okay. They want to move towards you because they feel like they could build with you, right? You have two tens of pentacles, um, two yeah, two tens of pentacles. So that means two tens, right? And they've got the seven and you got the seven. So you guys have been building towards this. Spirit, why is the queen of pentacles here for my Aries gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Why does Aries partner have the queen of pentacles? So like I said, I told you that the queen of pentacles showed up. Hold on. Yeah, here she goes. The Queen of Pentacles showed up against uh, what I felt was your energy, which was the Queen of Swords and the juggling, right? Now they have the Queen of Pentacles on their side, right? So now that tells me I'm right. That's their person, right? That was the person they were dealing with. This could be their ex-wife, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is the, uh, the quintessential wife, right? She's good with money, good with business. She's nurturing. She's a mom, um, okay? 
so that's being clarified by the knight of wands okay so this is a passionate in and out energy okay so this is probably how this person behaved during their uh time together spirit can i get one more for the queen of pentacles and the knight of wands spirit yeah so this person it's their wish fulfillment that their knight come back to them because they're heartbroken over this so that was the nine of cups and the three of swords okay so they want that this person to come back into them which is hence why they are trying to manifest in secret okay spirit three of wands why is the three of wands here sun moon rising and venus as the overall energy for aries love reading spirit why is the three of wands here so the three of wands is waiting, okay? And then um, that is being clarified by the six of cups. So nostalgia um, and um, reconciliation. Spirit, why the three of wands and the six of cups, spirit? Why the three of wands and the six of cups? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Because the emperor, which I told you, that is you. Right, so they want this person. You could have been on a break from this person. Uh, you might have stepped back with this ten of wands, feeling like you don't want to be involved in this situation. Maybe you felt like they had to finish closing out their situation. I feel like they were in separation mode, but this ex is very meddlesome. And even though they weren't with the person, the person was interfering, and you decided to pull back. Okay, and this is making them crazy okay and this is also making the x crazy all right toxic energy all right spirit can i get can i see what aries partner is feeling but not saying what is aries partner feeling but not saying spirit anything else spirit anything else thank you spirit so the first thing that came out was anger and resentment affect both of us. Let's talk to solve our issues. Let's enjoy our happiness together. I need some time uh, alone. A, separ a temporary separation is needed. So I feel like this is what happened. The person told you that they needed a um, time out. And it was because they needed to close out this situation. But they feel that they belong with you with this we belong together. They want to enjoy happiness with you, right? But they have a situation going on. And anger and resentment affect both of us. Let's talk to solve our issues. So they kind of want to work some stuff out with you and keep the um, lines of communication open while they shut out this other situation. And, um, but they feel like they can't do both at the same time. This person is not going to allow that. Spirit, how does Aries feel about their partner? How does Aries feel about their partner, Spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How does Aries feel about their partner? So you, you have trust in them. You have trust in them and you feel like very soon they're going to send with this unrequited love, they're going to send this other person packing because um you're calling in your soulmate and you believe that that's your soulmate and that is true love between yous and you feel like it's safe for you to love okay spirit what um what does aries partner feel for them spirit what does aries partner feel for them so they're forgiving and learning from this situation that they were in in the past and they don't want to make those mistakes again. They've actually gone to some uh, friends or a counselor for help because they feel like there's a lot of chemistry here, but they have to heal this family um, healing issues. They might have had children together. Uh, they are in separation. There's a deception though, and maybe it was that at first they told you that they um, were divorced and they maybe they were only separated. You might feel like this person is a little bit of a flirt, but they're looking at you quite seriously, spirit. Yeah. Um, what actions will occur, um, will Aries be taking towards their partner? So right now you're concentrating on your finances and career. And like I said, you are calling in your soulmate. You feel that this person is your soulmate. 
Spirit, what actions will Aries partner take? Spirit, what actions will Aries partner take? What actions will Aries partner take, Spirit? So they feel that it's safe for them to love you and they want to get uh, reconciled with you after this break. Um, they feel you're worth waiting for. They're keeping an open mind. They know you deserve love. And very soon, they're going to express their passion to you. They want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations and they want to let go of control issues, which is not easy. If they're showing up as a, an Aries, they're going to have trouble with that. And if they see you as the Aries, maybe they want you to let go of needing control, okay? Spirit, what's the outcome for this situation for my Aries gang? What's the outcome for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the outcome for Aries, Spirit? Outcome for my Aries gang? Reconciliation. So you will be uh, uniting with this person. Um, let your friends help you. So you might um, be both needing some advice in this situation. There is chemistry. Um, the healing family issues card. So even after you guys get um, get together, there's going to be some residual issues with this person, especially if they have children, because you're going to have to work in this situation together. And um, here's the separation card for them again. And uh, this other ex is probably going to try to throw dirt in the game and make this person look like they're lying. Okay. That's what I have for you guys. Let me get some advice and close this out. Aries spirit. Advice for Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus from July 15th to the 31st. Stop overthinking. Like I said, uh, this person is trying to close out this situation so that you guys can be in union and peace. Um, and that's what I have for you guys. I just want to say thank you to my subs uh returning subscribers uh, for spending this time with me. And if you are a new viewer, I would just like to say, if I resonated with you as a, as a reader, please like, subscribe, and comment as I would love to have you as part of the Lovely Soul family. I'm wishing you light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste.